Audiences worldwide won't see Star Wars Attack of the Clones until May 16th. But one internet film reporter saw the movie without the approval of Lucasfilm or Fox. When I saw that I was actually watching film, one, I was shocked because of the size of the scoop that it would have been. And two, I was thrilled to see that it was actually a really like wonderful film. This man is the ultimate fanboy here. Eric, his website, Any Cool News, it's like every geek's homepage, man. The world and the internet was a different place in 2002. One of the biggest movie reviewers and movie news source sites at the time was not a writer for the Entertainment Weekly or a fan sitting in front of his computer on his smartphone giving his thoughts on the latest movie. The biggest, by far, was a movie fan that lived in the basement of his mother's home in Austin, Texas. Harry Knowles, who ran his movie news and review website, Ain't It Cool News, from that basement. He leaks top secret scripts, publishes photos from closed movie sets, and reveals secret casting deals. If you believe in something like a worldwide geek network, right, people that are out there digging and working in the trenches, wearing disguises to see movies early to tell you if they're good or not, there's a sort of romance to that. With a computer and insider tips, Harry Knowles used his website to change how fans got information on the latest movies. After getting a computer in 1994, the movie geek found himself deep in the website of movie news groups to talk with other movie fans about the latest gossip in upcoming films. After making friends and insider contacts, Harry launched his website in 1996. The website became the go-to website for movie fans. Harry Knowles found himself becoming the voice of the so-called movie geek fans. And Harry Knowles was someone the movie studios needed. His earlier views on upcoming films could hurt his opening weekend with just a bad review. But sometimes the site causes quite a stink. Like when he unleashed the Starship Trooper creatures online a year before the movie came out. And that really bugged the folks at Sony. Harry soon found himself being interviewed in big magazines, newspapers. In 2000, Forbes ranked him number 95 on the Celebrity 100 list. He found himself the guest host on the movie review show, Siskel and Ebert. You know, I couldn't help but think during this movie, uh, especially during the football scenes, that Oliver Stone was directing this film. In March of 2002, Harry found himself in a Las Vegas hotel for the biggest scoop of his career. In his blog, he gives little details about that day, but at a book signing a few hours before, Harry was given a note with a hotel room number and a time. Curious about the note, Harry found himself alone in the hotel room with an unnamed man who had a copy of the upcoming Star Wars film, Attack of the Clones. When I saw that I was actually watching film, one, I was shocked because of the size of the scoop that it would have been. Harry has never gave much details about that day, but he did write a detailed, non-spoiler review of the film. A glowing review with that. Thumbs way down. You didn't like it. No, I, I think I deserve a public apology from George Lucas. Many fans felt let down with the Phantom Menace, but Harry assured them, this time Lucas got it right. As he writes in the review blog, this movie is the real deal. It's smart, beautiful, thrilling. This Star Wars is for real. Seven months later, former Lucasfilm employee Shay O'Brien Foley was arrested in Burbank, California and charged with 13 felony counts of theft for stealing sound effect recordings, images, video files, storyboards, and video files. He was also charged with four counts of unlawfully access to a computer system. Foley was a production assistant at Lucasfilm at the time of the theft. He was released on a $200,000 bond. Lucasfilm started an investigation after Harry Knowles' review of the film was posted online. At that time of the review, Lucasfilm did release a statement saying, We don't know how he could have gotten a copy of it, but we're glad that he liked it. Foley was fired from Lucasfilm in the spring after the investigation discovered he had downloaded computer files from the film's production onto his laptop and took drawings and other collectibles. But was this an employee the man that met with Harry Knowles in that Las Vegas hotel room with a copy of Attack of the Clones? Harry Knowles told MSNBC, I never heard of this guy. He was not the one that showed me the movie. On his website, Harry added that the person that gave him the leaked copy told him that he had covered his tracks very well. Foley would plead guilty for taking the computer files and other items from Lucasfilm. Foley said he took them as a fan of the film not to resell or make a profit from the theft. 
Due to his clean record, he was not sent to prison. However, he was sent to one year in the Martin County Jail, barred from using the internet and maintaining his website. Although pleading guilty, he was never charged with taking a print of the film, and he denied ever showing anyone a print of Attack of the Clones. So who was this mysterious clone leaker? Although it's never came to light, some have said that Harry Knowles' review was based on a leaked script going around the internet's news groups and not a copy of the film. Another theory is that Lucasfilm linked the copy themselves. A lot of Star Wars fans was unhappy with Episode 1, so Lucasfilm wanted to get fans back on board for Episode 2, and who better to help them do that than Harry Knowles? Some believe Harry was leaked the copy of the film in an agreement that he would give it a good review. Many fans feel that Attack of the Clone was weaker than the previous film. However, Harry's review did give a lot of nervous fan hope that this one would be a lot better. What Harry has to look out for is the danger that he'll get so addicted to the junkets and the first class tickets and the hotel rooms uh, that he won't run those negative reviews. We may never know who leaked this film to Harry Knowles. And maybe even Harry himself isn't sure who it was unless that leaker in that Las Vegas hotel room was wearing a plaid shirt. While Harry's star keeps rising on the web, a lot of movie executives and studio watchdogs refuse to comment on either Harry or his website. Some of them feel that while the site may have the best of intentions, it doesn't always give movies a chance when they're in their early test phase. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.